massive whipping chairs for Dave Williamson. Thank you very much. There you go. That is another key difference between the United States and England. We always start our applause from this side. <laughs> Amazing. Everything's different. Well, thank you. Uh, this, this is great. Uh, it gives me an opportunity to do some, uh, a little magic for you. Some of the things that you wouldn't see if you come to the show uh, across the street, which we hope you do. Uh, let me try something. Does anybody have a piece of rope or string about six feet in? Just happen to have one right here. <gasps> Hi, sir. You look very intelligent with those glasses and sitting up front, you look like a go-getter. That's what I think you are. Would you examine that piece of rope and verify for all your friends that there are no trap doors, escaping gases, strings, mirrors, anything like that? No uh, Scientology in there. There's a little bit on the other end, but does it look okay? Okay, thank you very much for dismissing the whole procedure. Oh, looks like a robe. I don't care. <laughs> because in about two minutes, you're going to be going, I wish I would have spent more time with the rope. He's doing miracles with that thing. Obviously a trick rope. I didn't take my job very seriously. So here's your second chance to really get into it. <laughs> looks like a rope. Check it out. You will verify now when your friends come to you at lunch and go, really, what was going on with the rope? You can now say with honesty, Looks like a rope, still look like a rope. Does anybody have a bangle or a ring or a bracelet, a solid with no gaps or openings, about 10 inches in diameter, steel, chrome plated? I just happen to have one <laughs> as well. We'll use mine. Uh, hi, sir, how are you? Would you examine that, verify that that too is absolutely solid? There are no gaps or openings. There is a little weld spot there. I see you went right to that, yeah, very good. <laughs> But I want you to make sure it is a weld spot and it's been chromed over top of the weld. There are no openings or gaps, yes? Does it look solid to you? And I'm not going to do the hack line. Do you see any holes? And they say no. And I go, right there, stupid. I'm not going to do that <laughs> to you. I will not insult you. And you got the memo about the dress code. Look at this guy. Look at this. He's a <laughs> little David Williamson here, mini me. OK. Thank you. <laughs> awesome. Just revealed my double. Now oh, the switch will not fool anyone. <laughs> Would you hold <laughs> the ring? Now here's the way this one works. This is, it's an old puzzle. Uh, these are folk puzzles. So magicians, modern day magicians, you know, we comb through all the archives of all the old puzzles and we try to update them. How do you take the ring off the rope without untying the knots? Un untying the knot, rather. You can release there, Mongo, thank you. How do you take the ring off of the rope without untying the knot? It's kind of a Zen-like concept. If you think about it, it can't be done, but you can provide the illusion. If I double the rope through the ring, when I do this for kids, I love to do magic for people of all ages, I say, you know, any difficult problem is easy to solve with the help of a friend. And you're going to be my friend. I want you to hold the ring only, close your eyes, and count to three. Seriously. <laughs> hey, he did it. Nice job. He has no idea how he did it, but he did it. So the skeptics in the room always say, I know how you did that. You didn't really put the ring on the rope. You were telling your dumb jokes, and you went like this, and you created sort of a confusing image. So when you pulled the ring off the rope, it was never really on the rope. And to them, I say, that's right. That's exactly how it's done. <laughs> There's no other way. Solid ring, solid rope. I'd have to be a real magician to actually pass the ring through the rope. What? Here's the deal. Um, and only at Google would I do this. Uh, I'm going to tell you how it's done. Yeah, because I think you might find it interesting. Would you hold the ring once again? And what is your name? Graham. Thank you, Graham. A pair of scissors. Cutting through the rope like that. <clears throat> scissors cutting through the rope. Sir, you act like you see this stuff every day. He's just like, I see more amazing things on my screen every day. This is reality. It's not that it is reality. It's actually happening, sir. Um, there are two pieces of rope which are not exactly the same. I guess I cut it off center. All right. Ab blaster, QVC. Okay, thank you. Keep them sucked together with super glue. Bing, no individual clapping, sir. I appreciate that, though. <laughs> I don't get out much. Okay, how do you watch the two ends as they go into Dave's pocket? Except for this one. Oh, stays out here with this one. Bing, and this is the big applause cue. The middle, ta-da, bam, right there in the pocket. You can examine that again, Graham. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. <clears throat> That went well, let's do another one, okay. Otherwise, I'd just run off and bring Colin up, but I'll, I'll try another one since you seem to be into this stuff. Anybody shuffle cards? Does anybody know their way around a deck of cards and know how to shuffle? Yeah? Okay, come on up here. Give him a round of applause. Thank you, sir. 
This is a deck of, we call these seconds. See how it says seconds? At the, shuffle them up, make sure it's a real deck. At the Shaftesbury Theater, uh, I destroy a deck of cards every night. We're doing over 80 performances in the two months we're here. And I said, I'm not bringing 80 decks of cards <laughs> in my luggage. Uh, go buy some from the local uh, store. So they went and they bought the cheapest. They're called seconds and the printer, uh, it, there might be a little uh, you know, ink problems or there might be something like that. That's why they're called seconds. It doesn't look like a regular deck of cards, but it is a regular deck of cards. They just have some irregular, I don't even know why I'm pointing that out. It's not important to the trick. Well, tell me your name. Jan. 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 Yes. Jan. Oh, I like that. Take any card you like, Jan. This one. Uh, you sure? I was hoping you'd go for the one next to it. All right, well, <laughs> we'll do it a different trick, Jan. Don't let me see it. Don't let me see it. Oh. <laughs> Jan's Juggling Show. Hey. Did, did, did you get it? Yes. Show it to everybody. Oh, you can even show it to the camera. I will hide my eyes here in the, uh, the blackout curtain. Did, can everybody see it? Okay, hide it, Jan. Here I come. Face down. Place it back in the pack. Now, let me just show everybody. They're all shuffled up. It's a normal deck. You put it back in the pack anywhere you like, Jan. <laughs> 27, okay. Now, Jan, your card is shuffled into the deck. I like Jan's body position there. He's all close. <laughs> uh, never know what to do with their hands. Okay, Jan, here's what I'm going to do. Do you remember your card? Yes. When I snap my fingers, your card will jump from the center of the pack, believe it or not, fly through the air, and I'll catch it in my other hand. Are you ready for this, Jan? I don't know. Oh, this, yeah. this, okay, me too. Here we go. Watch. <laughs> Fourteen years of my life. I learned that crap. Jan, what was your card? Uh, spades two. Spades two? Is that right? Uh, uh, sorry. Uh, Controversy. Uh, language problem here. Uh, oh. Diamond. 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 Diamond two. Diamond two. <laughs> and it's changed into the three of clubs. <laughs> <laughs> That's called magic where I come from, Jan. <laughs> Was it really the spade two, or was it the diamond three, or what was it? Anybody? It really was the two of diamonds? Yes. OK, I'm going to have Colin come up here. <laughs> this is not going well. Oh, there it is, right where you left it, 27 from the top. No wonder it didn't find it. OK. Well, this happens. That's called live theater at the Shaftesbury. Uh, it's more rehearsed. I'm trying stuff I've never tried. Do me a favor. Put your hand on top of the torn pieces of three. We're going to try this. It doesn't always work, but we're going to try this. We're going to take your diamond two and stick it under your hand. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna say the magic words, hope to heck it works. <laughs> <laughs> the card that was once torn, Jan, the three of clubs. Whoa. <laughs> Ooh, chill, just went up my <laughs> What could possibly be under your hand? Turn the pieces over and show the people that you do in fact have the diamond two, ladies and gentlemen. There it is. Thank you, Jan. Hold, hold the pieces. Make a fist. Squeeze tight. Hold your hand high in the air. Do you believe in the healing powers? Yes. <laughs> Not much. No, no. Where I come from, you have to have more conviction. Say, I believe. Repeat after me. I will never. I will never. Say what other. Say what other. People tell me to say. People tell me to say. <laughs> okay. I'm <laughs> going to blow on your hand with my laser breath. Ooh, cool watch. Open your hand. Have those pieces indeed, Few, the healing powers of Jan. He will blow on your foreheads later and make all the wrinkles disappear. There it is. Give it up for Jan. Jan, you're awesome. Thank you so much. Wait a minute. Go like this. Blow on your hand. Press on the card and say this word. Like a steam press. Lift up your hand. Those wrinkles, verify that, Jan, are gone. That is steam pressed, as good as new. There it is. Give it up for you on one more time. Thank you, sir. You can have that deck Thank of cards. There's the box. Thanks, Jan. Okay, let me try one more. Um, I knew I was going to be coming here uh, for Google, technology company, obviously. So how do you combine magic with technology? I've done it. I figured it out. You're welcome. <laughs> Take an early lunch. Okay. This is it. A deck of cards. 
Now, if you think about what a deck of cards is, and I know Ollie's going to give us a close-up of the table here. If you think about what a deck of cards is, a deck of cards is a collection of information, right? Colors, numbers, suits, kind of like a database. Why don't you, let's keep that shot there, if we don't mind, so that everybody can see. Now, this is an interesting deck of cards because I've uh, run them through a little printer. Uh, now, let's find somebody, an uninterested party. You haven't seemed interested the whole time. Hi, would you help me? <laughs> As I riffle my thumb, th what are you doing? Why are you approaching Magic Dave? Just stay in your seat. Oh my God. Just pointed at you. Hey, it's all about me. Come on. Let me have some me time. I don't get enough over there at the theater every night. I'm kidding. What is your name? Christina. Christina. All I'm going to ask you to do is just call the word stop as I pull my thumb through the pack. That way you'll randomly select one of the cards. Right there. All right. That will be your randomly selected card. Please remember it. I will avert my gaze so I do not see what it is. I can't see that. It's too far. Uh, five of hearts. Okay. Now watch this. Now, uh, Ali, let's see if we can get that really close shot that we uh, talked about earlier. Here's what I'm going to do. There we go. Yeah, super close. I love it. I love it. Look at that. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to give the deck a shuffle. Now, this is a very special shuffle. Let's call it the Google Shuffle. Um, interleave the cards, and if you think of this like a computer screen, 52 scan lines of resolution, Whoa. it actually starts to say the word unshuffle, which is what I'm doing. I'm shuffling the cards, but I'm separating the four suits. Let me do that again. The more I shuffle, the more unshuffled they become. Look at the screen. No batteries required. Beautiful resolution. One final shuffle, and it becomes very clear that Magic Dave had a lot of by himself time as a child, <laughs> <laughs> sitting in his house, shuffling cards. All the other kids were out playing football and talking to girls. The deck is completely unshuffled. What does that mean, unshuffled? Well, if you remember, I showed you a shuffled deck of cards. But if you look at them now, we'll get that close-up shot again. If you don't mind there, Ollie, they're all in order. All the spades are in order, diamonds, clubs, hearts, and spades, all the diamonds, all the clubs, all the hearts, all the spades, ace through king, just like they came from the factory. That is an unshuffled deck. But I know what you're saying. You're saying, wait a minute, Dave, that's not magic. That's technology. We do that better than you. It's true. But there was a famous quote, and I'm sure all of you know it, by Arthur C. Clarke, I'm going to shuffle him again, spades into the clubs, diamonds into the hearts. He said very famously, any sufficiently advanced technology is indistinguishable from magic. I always love that quote. What was your card, Christine? Do you remember? Don't remember. Five of hearts. There it is. Thank you, folks. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you. Well, that's my